you can't turn all of them back, but you certainly can turn some around. Our nation would not leave children to drown. We will decide who comes to this country and the circumstances in which they come. With images like these hitting our airways every day, immigration has become a hot topic in Australia. It's a topic that stirs up emotions and one that most of us have a strong opinion on. But is the media representing this topic in a balanced way? With constant stories in our news of so-called boat people, it's easy to forget that only 3% of people immigrating to Australia enter the country in this way. In a special report, we have a broader look at this topic. Why do so many leave their homes? And why do so many choose Australia as their destination? Australia really is the lucky country. Think about it. Most Australians live a pretty comfortable life. We have easy access to life's basics and many of us have a lot of cool stuff that we don't really need. We have the choice of what we believe and what we wear. For most of us, our biggest problem is deciding what we are going to have for dinner. But what if that weren't the case? What if our easy access to food was gone? We were told what to wear and what we were allowed to believe. What if all our cool gadgets were replaced with hunger, war and danger? Sadly, these are the lives that many people live every day. Some of these people are brave enough to pack up their families and go in search of a safer life. Australia prides itself as a multicultural nation. The food, music and sports we love are all influenced by the cultures of those who come here looking for a better life. We all take these things for granted without much thought for the journeys that bring people to our shores and the struggles that they leave behind. We decided to leave the country, the Congo, because of uh, the war condition. It was very, really, really bad because of bomb everywhere, uh, that, was, that wasn't good at all, so many people died, so that's why we decided to just leave the country and uh, look somewhere where we can be safe with kids. My kids, really, they are very in a very nice place to be, um, they've got many opportunities, they can study, they can live safely, and um, I hope they will grow up very safely and there will be some people, yeah, there will be somebody in this country. Yeah. As we continue to watch the immigration debate unfold on our screens, spread thought for those who are still living with danger in their lives. Some of our relatives who left in Congo, always like, we always talk to the phone and they're always like crying, say that please help us because their life is no good at all. So um, I wonder how will be my kids right now, I don't know because there is no hope. With millions of refugees around the world waiting for a safe home, is Australia really doing enough to help? Can we afford to offer more families a new home, or are we already doing enough? To have your say, log on to our website at mrslampsisclass.org slash kwn, where you can watch more of our interviews and join the discussion. This has been a KWN production.